Hello guys, welcome to online web tutor presented by Profotic Solutions team. I am Sanjay. We are learning WordPress shortcodes API. In this video session guys, we will discuss about built-in WP shortcodes. And also guys, for the previous video session, if you go to YouTube and now inside this playlist, inside this playlist we have made our previous video sessions where we had discussed all basic concepts about WordPress shortcodes okay and also guys if you are a beginner to this channel then please don't forget to subscribe and keep watching our previous playlist of online web tutor so basically guys so far we have made our custom wordpress shortcodes and now we have retrieved the post as well as the user roles by our custom shortcodes but remember wordpress provides also some of the built-in wordpress shortcodes just back to next slide and these are the shortcodes guys actually wordpress provides as a built-in shortcodes okay we will see all these sort codes in action in few minutes okay so just back to folder structure and now this is the folder structure that I have installed for this administrator panel okay WP sort code and now this is the folder called WP sort code just go to WP content inside themes and as we know that by default when we install any WordPress setup the WordPress by default actually activated 2017 theme okay and this is as you can see current activated theme so if we visit frontend section and this is called the frontend page of our administrator panel of our WordPress website just go to folder structure 2017 right here click on something called page.php just open that just back to editor and now this is the file called page.php okay we are going to write some of the codes inside this file to check the built-in WordPress shortcodes okay so we have a global parameter called global and let's say shortcode tags okay this is a global parameter guys this is a global variable which provides you the information about the global built-in WordPress shortcodes okay so just copy this global variable and let's say that echo within this PRE tag let's say print R and this is the global variable okay and finally let's say echo just close PRE tag and now save this file okay so just go to administrator panel first of all go to pages section because we have saved this code right inside page.php so we have to open any of the administrator panel page okay so let's open sample page.php so now this is the sample page as we can see and now these are the built-in shortcodes guys that as we can see the WordPress provides called WP caption caption gallery playlist audio video and embed okay so basically in this whole array formats in this whole array elements we will see some of the basic shortcodes something like gallery playlist audio video and embed these all shortcodes guys are not custom these are provided by default by the WordPress and now we can get all the information about those shortcodes by using this global variable called shortcode tags okay so let's start one by one to understand each and every shortcode that actually WordPress provides so first of all we have to discuss about the gallery shortcode so just make copy of that if you copy the shortcode just go to administrator panel click on add new and let's add a dummy page for now to test let's say test page and now we are going to paste this shortcode something called gallery if we remove that just I'm going to paste inside this tag section this is the shortcode that is gallery if we just switch to visual and now this will appear okay where we have to add some of the images inside this gallery okay so just click on this pencil icon that is edit icon and now we have to select some of the images for this gallery so click on select files and now let's select some of the images let's select all four images click on open and next click on update gallery so successfully we have imported four of the images for this gallery if we switch back to our text now we can see that inside this gallery shortcode we have an attribute called IDs and inside this IDs these are called 6789 this is the ID which actually image has been uploaded meaning uploaded image ID so if we click on publish and now if you go to the front end section of this page now as we can see that this is the gallery that we have made okay this is the gallery actually created by using the shortcode called gallery 
So basically guys we can understand that by using this gallery sortcode built in sortcode we can actually make a image gallery okay so when we go to browser if we click on any of the image it will open the corresponding page of that so just click on that and now you can check that this is the URL called test page slash gallery one just back to here let's click on another image and as you can see that gallery one dash one if we click on again and now this is gallery two okay so these are the random links guys that are actually created by this sortcode that is gallery so by the help of this sortcode guys built in sortcode we can actually make our image gallery okay now we are going to use something called the playlist sortcode just make copy of that go to our test page and let's remove this okay so just remove that and paste the playlist sortcode okay so if we switch back to visual and now as we can see that in the same case we need to up means upload some of the files to this playlist okay so remember guys for this playlist sort code we can actually create songs gallery only for audio if you want to create the audio gallery for the songs we can upload that okay so just go to browser let's click on this edit icon and now we can select some of the music files or audio files from our means system okay so let's select files go to upload and now we have in the music folder some of the files called 135 so just select all let's upload all files and now these all are guys as you can see that extension mp3 these all are music files okay so just upload that and now we have uploaded all these three files so behind the scene guys if you go to the text section and now we have used a playlist sort code in this playlist sort code we have an ids attribute which contains 20 30 and 14 basically these are the ids of uploaded music files okay so just go to visual and now as we can see that this is the appearance of that sort code if you click on update just go to front end section just close that all these files first go to front end page and now this is the gallery system guys actually provided by the sortcode playlist and these all are of using called audio files so if we click on any of these files as you can see that by default the first was selected as you can see that the first was highlighted okay so if we click on that and now the music is playing music is playing as you can see again if we click on the second file that is 3 and now as you can see that the 3 has been selected now so just pause that if you click on the number 3 that is 5 and now as you can see that it is now playing so successfully guys we can create a music gallery by using called playlist sort code okay obviously we can make some of the customization by clicking on this edit icon and now we can see that some of the settings as you can see the wordpress provides okay so this was actually the second sort code that we have discussed about the playlist built in wp sort code now next we have to discuss about the audio sortcode basically guys audio sortcode is used to play only for a single audio file so if you go to browser just close that and if you go to text section just remove that all these things again switch to visual and now we have nothing here so if we copy this sortcode just make copy of this audio sortcode go to browser and paste inside this text section okay so if we switch back to visual and now as we can see that we have a single audio file so if we click on this edit icon now we can select any of the file format as you can see so just select mp3 file and now we have to upload any of the mp3 file to this area okay so just click on select files and now let's say one dot mp3 just click on open and now successfully we have uploaded our file click on add audio source and update so successfully we have uploaded our audio file okay so if we click on update just go to front end section if we reload this page and now the single file has been appeared so if we click on that and now the music has been playing so successfully guys we have seen about the audio section but what is the difference between playlist and audio playlist is basically for the gallery of audios means we can make multiple audio selections in this playlist okay we can make a gallery of audios but in this audio sort code we can upload only for a single audio okay so let's discuss about the video sort code so just make copy of that go to browser and replace this sort code 
just replace this audio shortcode and now guys as you can see that we have used audio and now we have uploaded a mp3 file because as you know that the audio shortcode basically for a single audio file and now mp3 is a attribute attached with audio shortcode and this is the file link okay so if we remove all these things let's paste the video shortcode if we switch back to visual we have to upload now one of any of the means video file okay so if you click on this edit icon and now these all are file formats of our video section so let's click on mp4 because we have a file called mp4 of size so we'll click on select files and now we have to upload some of the let's say mp4 file so go inside video section and now we have a video called test video 1.mp4 okay so just click on open and now we have successfully uploaded that file click on add video source and now we have a file right here okay so just click on update and now we have uploaded a video file okay so this is only possible by using video shortcode so if we switch back to text now as you can see that we have used a video this is a mp4 attribute and now this mp4 attribute contains a url which basically a file url of that mp4 file okay so just click on update after updating if you go to its front end section and now this is the video section so just click on that and now as we can see that video is playing okay so just pause that so far guys we have discussed about gallery shortcode playlist audio and video so basically video shortcode is basically for a single video file okay so let's use called embed shortcode so just make copy of that go to administrator panel and just replace all these things let's paste it here and just switch back to visual okay now as we can see that in the same case in this case we have to also means upload file so just click on add on this edit icon and now as we can see that we have multiple options in this embed okay so insert from URL we also upload some of the URLs if you want to upload from YouTube also by passing that URL from here we can actually import that video from there to our WordPress setup so let's import one of the video from YouTube from our online web tutor channel so actually before making this video session guys actually I have copied a link from our channel so just make copy of this YouTube URL as you can see if you go to right here and insert that URL right here so just click on insert into page and now as we can see that the video has successfully imported to our this area if we click on update just go to front end page reload this section and now the video actually that has been pulled right here is imported to our front end section and if you click on this icon so now video is playing as you can see guys so this is only possible guys by using the shortcode called embed okay so basically all the shortcode guys we have seen about gallery playlist audio video and embed so these are the shortcodes guys built in provided by the wordpress we have not made any code for these means shortcodes okay so guys i think that if we collect the ideas of part one part 2 and this video session means part 3 then we can see that overall we actually learn about how can we define shortcode what is the basic concept of shortcode in WordPress how can we define how can we use and how can we make any call to our WordPress database table to fetch either post either users and several records we want and also we have looked over the built-in shortcodes of WordPress where we have seen about these things Okay, so one more thing guys actually by using the global parameter by shortcode tags you can actually see or you can actually collect your built-in shortcodes by using the shortcode tags okay so successfully guys I think that we have completed the main concern of this video session so if you have any query in this video session guys then please drop your comment I will give my reply as soon as possible so for this video session guys thank you for watching have a great day